such pleasant imagery, isn't it? The Blades Edge Mountains. Yeah. How many of you have uh, both fond and not so fond memories of this place? Yeah. I remember the first time I came here and I saw these places, I was like, oh my gosh. You know, I was like kind of dreading coming here because I thought going to a place like this was going to be painful in multiple ways. So this area right here, this is the location for the entrance to Gruul's Lair. So there's the Mew Stone. So Gruul is the Lord of the Gron. Perhaps one of the first Gron that we have ever seen. And he was causing a number of problems around here. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it kind of reached a point where we were kind of like, uh, like, all right, we have to get in here because Gruul and his Gron and such, those who follow him, are uh, causing a lot of problems. So we need you heroes to get in there and stop him once and for all. So I'm here in my rogue, mainly because I've never done this raid with, uh, with with the rogue class. And I realized I had basically nothing of the set in here, so. So you'll notice there's also a lot of ogres in here. A lot of, uh, I think they're also called Ogren. No, not Ogren from Dragon Age. But, yeah. A lot of these guys. So, so this is the, so this is actually a two-boss raid. So there is, this is High King Mulgar. Basically, Gruul decided to have, like, a puppet ruler, basically. He didn't necessarily want to be the guy in charge. He just wanted to be the guy ruling. I want to be the one who rules over this place, but I don't want to be doing all the, you know, in charge stuff. He didn't want to do the day-to-day -day operation stuff. So he basically picked this guy, High King Mulgar, the Lord of the Ogres, to basically be the puppet ruler in his place to do all the, you know... Like, all right, you do this, you know, you are in charge of hey, making sure this happens, so. This is one of the first council boss fights that in the history of the game. So, he's got f these four guys here. You know, one of them's a mage, one of them's a warlock, one of them's a shaman, and one of them's a priest. And then we have him. And he basically has no mechanics. He just hits like a truck. So... From what I understand, you had to make sure that you had a really good geared tank if you were going to be able to pull this off. Uh, and, you know, just folk have the tank just keep him on, you know, <laughs> kited the whole time. While the other people in the raid tried to also take these down because, of course, you didn't want them to be healing and such, so. Now you oh, fight me. me! Power in Outland! So, yeah, you can get polymorphed. Yeah, you can see this is it, you know, Killer Craze. He's got the lightning bolts, just like a shaman. I'm not afraid of you! Yeah, you got uh, the summoner here. I'm so not afraid of him. you! So he's the warlock. The you seer. Go to him so I don't so get polymorphed. Let's get rid of that fell stuff. Yeah, and then he just, like, you know, he punches you, smashes you, hits like a truck. Very simple. Nope. So, I mentioned that there's a couple pieces that can drop in this raid. When it comes to the set, you can get either the legs from Gruul or the shoulders from uh, Mulgar. So, if you're wanting those pieces, this is the place to go and see if you can hopefully get them to drop. And then, of course, we have many more ogres in here. So this is all, you know, part of the, uh, the questing that you do here in the Blades Edge Mountains where you find out more about what's going on with the ogres as well as the Gron. And, of course, it's interesting. I'm sure people found it interesting when it involved basically kind of revisiting this in Warlords. So there he is. There's Gruul, the dragon killer. Yeah. Let's see if I can show this guy's fight as much as I can. Come and die. <laughs> nice 
voice. So yeah, he does a cave-in mechanic where he has everything cave-in on you. I wish I could show you the details of his mechanics, but they didn't have raid text back in Burning Crusade apparently, and they still haven't updated it yet. I don't know why they wouldn't, they can't just simply update this. Just add the text to the guide on Burning Crusade raids and such. So then he has this other mechanic called growth. He's going to keep growing in size, which also means he's also getting stronger. And then he does that ground slam shatter. Yeah, where he petrifies you and yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get, the, you know, your movements be reduced. Yeah. Pretty rough fight in here. Back in the day, anyway. <laughs> he did not drop the shoulders. Nothing to get. So, yeah. So, as I mentioned, we've now thwarted both Magtheridon and Gruul, which does put a damper onto what is going on here in Outland, uh, involving... You know, well, it, it's hard for me to just say with a straight face, Illidan's plans, because I know it, that's not what it was actually should have been or is supposed to be. But, you know, I've already s said that before, so. So, we're basically helping deal with the, the problems in Outland before we make our way towards uh, Shadowmoon Valley and Netherstorm. However, there was something else going on back in TBC that was kind of brought to our attention and we had to kind of deal with. And uh, unfortunately, it's not listed here in the raids list anymore. It's instead been converted into a dungeon and they updated it for Cataclysm. But most of what it, how it was back in Burning Crusade is basically the same from what I understand. And this one I'll actually have text to provide for you guys. You know, it's listed as a five-man normal. You can also do a five-man heroic as well. Um, but back in Burning Crusade, this was a ten-man raid. And from what I understand, most of this is basically the same, except for the final guy. Some guy named D Doc Dakara. You know, no one cares about him. 